There are many prophecies within the Star Wars mythos, the most popular of which concerning the Chosen One, the prophecy that foretold that someone would arise among the Jedi to ultimately destroy the Sith Lords. However, unknowingly, most of the Jedi order themselves. But the prophecy of the Chosen One in Anakin Skywalker was not the only prophecy of a Jedi during this time period. There was another prophecy that would be fulfilled during the Clone Wars conflict, and a prophecy concerning Mace Windu. Interestingly though, the prophecy was created millennia ago by a Sith Lord and one of the most powerful and famous Sith Lords. The Dark Lady of the Sith, Darth Treya, was renowned for her ability to look into the future. A lot of the time though, her visions were not accurate, as despite using the dark side of the Force to look into the future, it sometimes clouded her vision. Nonetheless though, one of Darth Treya's most famous prophecies was the prophecy that the Mandalorians would come to an end. But more explicitly and importantly than this, that they would come to the end at the hands of a Jedi Knight thousands of years from her time. This vision would in fact come to pass, to some capacity. On the first battle of the Clone Wars, known as the First Battle of Geonosis, Mace Windu beheaded the bounty hunter Jango Fett. Jango Fett at the time, known as the last Mandalore and leader of the Mandalorian culture in its original state. Although begrudgingly so, Jango Fett had in fact taken upon him the mantle of Mandalore. It was because of this that day on Geonosis, when Mace Windu beheaded Jango Fett that Darth Treya's prophecy somewhat became true. The prophecy was a warning to the Mandalorian culture, and a promise that Treya one day would indeed get her revenge. Over the next generations of Sith Lords, they would hold true to this promise, and prophecy that one day the Mandalorians would in fact pay. Darth Treya would even predict the clone troopers and the Clone Wars going forward, stating that that would be all that was left of the Mandalorians, when she said, quote, a shell of their armor on the shell of a man. Although Darth Treya's prophecy was true for a time, Jango Fett's own son and clone Boba Fett would later take up the mantle of Mandalore and, in large part, bring the Mandalorian culture back to prominence following his father's death. Just as the prophecy of the Chosen One was muddled, so was this prophecy. Nonetheless though, thousands of years before it actually happened, Darth Treya did predict the death of Jango Fett, and that this would mark the beginning of the end of the Mandalorian culture, finally marking the revenge of Darth Treya. Anyway guys, leave your thoughts on this in the comments down below, and did you know about this prophecy concerning Mace Windu and Jango Fett? Did you know that Mace Windu was even involved in a prophecy to begin with, and that it stemmed from an ancient Sith Lord thousands of years before his time. Bef